What's up, City Church? I'm Sabrina, and look at us. We're in 21 days of prayer and fasting. It's probably one of my favorite times of the year when we as a church pray and fast together because God always shows up, and I, I for one, am expectant. So let's get into it. We're doing soap devotionals, and the scripture that I have for you today is James 5, 13. It says, Is anyone among you suffering? Let him or her pray. Is anyone cheerful or happy? Let him sing praise. Now I have to admit that second part of the scripture is my favorite part because it's talking about singing praise and I love singing praise. I love being cheerful and I love being happy. But in real life, the first part of that scripture is what really stood out to me. It says, if anyone is suffering, let him or her pray. Now I know I'm not alone in knowing that 2020 was a difficult year. I suffered hardships. I think I was probably the loneliest I've ever been in 2020. And I'm sure that for you, you probably went through something similar. It might've been like financial hardship. Maybe you lost a job or a business was closed. Maybe you suffered relational hardship, not being able to see your friends or family for holidays. Maybe it was emotional suffering, just wondering if life is ever going to get back to normal. It could have been physical suffering or physical hardship. Maybe you've had chronic pain or maybe you got sick over this last year. You know somebody who got sick. It suffice it to say 2020 was difficult and not to be a Debbie Downer, but suffering is probably not going to end after 2020 and it's probably going to come back around in the next year of our lives. But the Bible gives us something to look forward to. It says to pray. Now, I have to be honest that when I was going through struggles or anytime I go through struggles, the first thing I want to do is not normally pray. Normally I wanna turn on Netflix and watch The Office for the hundredth time. I want to go on Instagram or Facebook and get in an argument or something. <laughs> I wanna go to Target or scroll through Amazon and buy something I don't need. And that may give me a momentary distraction, but it's actually not gonna make me better. What does help, what does benefit me, and what the Bible gives us as wisdom is that if we're struggling, if we're going through something, the first thing that we should do is pray. Now, we're not just praying to the sky or to nothing, but we're praying to somebody who has actually suffered and knows what we're going through. He understands what we're going through. So. I, I want to be encouraged and I want to encourage you to, instead of picking up your phone, instead of turning on that Netflix or, or that television, to really pray and ask God what He wants to do through that hardship. Now, I want to just give us 10 seconds because the best part of prayer is that it's actually a conversation. And part of a conversation is not just talking, but it's also listening. So. If you're at a place you can, I would encourage you to just put your feet flat on the floor and breathe in and breathe out and let the Lord speak to you. Let him tell how much he loves you. Let him remind you that he is making you, perfecting you through this process. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for your biblical wisdom. Thank you that your word gives us wisdom to live by, Lord. And we thank you, Jesus, that you suffered just as we suffered and you understand you are a perfect friend and a comforter, Lord, that when we're struggling, when we're going through things, God, you are right there with us. You are Emmanuel, God with us. So we ask that you would remind us that you're there, that though we are going to suffer and it is kind of a promise, we thank you that you're gonna be with us in that suffering and we're gonna come out, Lord, stronger, more attached to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. City Church, I love you. Go in strength and sing praises when you're feeling good.